Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Friday of the 18th week in Ordinary Time. To lead us in our Eucharistic celebration is our beloved parish priest, Reverend Father Dodot Torres. We are gathered in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, and welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Coming together as God's family with confidence, we now ask the Father's forgiveness, for He is full of gentleness and compassion. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that we who glory in the heart of your beloved Son and recall the wonders of his love for us, may be made worthy to receive an overflowing measure of grace from that font of heavenly, grace, heavenly gifts through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Nahum. See upon the mountains, there advances the bearer of good news, announcing peace. Celebrate your feasts, O Judah, fulfill your vows. For nevermore shall you be invaded by the scoundrel. He is completely destroyed. The Lord will restore the vine of Jacob, the pride of Israel, though ravagers have ravaged them and ruined the tendrils. Woe to the bloody city, all lies, full of plunder, whose looting never stops. The crack of the whip, the rumbling sounds of wheels, horses a gallop, chariots bounding, cavalry charging, the flame of the sword, the flash of the spear, the many slain, the heaping corpses, the endless bodies to stumble upon. I will cast filth upon you, disgrace you, and put you to shame, till everyone who sees you runs from you, saying, Nineveh is destroyed. Who can pity her? 
Where can one find any to console her? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is I who deal death and give life. It is I who deal death and give life. Close at hand is the day of their disaster, and their doom is rushing upon them. Surely the Lord shall do justice for his people, on his servants he shall have pity. It is I who deal death and give life. Learn then that I, I alone, am God, and there is no God besides me. It is I who bring both death and life, I who inflict wounds and heal them. It is I who deal death and give life. I will sharpen my flashing sword, and my hand shall lay hold of my quiver. With vengeance I will repay my foes, and requite those who hate me. It is I who deal death and give life. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with his angels in his Father's glory, and then he will repay each according to his conduct. Amen, I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. My dear friends, the gospel of our salvation. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Sa muli po magandang umaga sa kanilang lahat. I remember the story of Marie and her family. Si Marie po isang head ng parachute ministry sa isang parokya. Hindi lang po yan. Lahat ng kanyang pamilya aktibong naglilingkod sa simbahan. Yung kanyang nanay ay member ng Family and Life Ministry. Ang kanyang mga kapatid ay miyembro ng choir. Ang kanyang tatay ay member ng Special Ministers of the Holy Communion. So practically po, lahat sila sa pamilya involved sa simbahan. Pero sadyang mapaglaro ang tadhana. A few years ago, her brother was diagnosed with the liver cancer. The faith of the family was greatly challenged and tested because of this. A year after, yung kapatid naman po niyang babae ang nadapuan ng isang misteryosong sakit na naging dahilan upang ito po ay makoma ng isang linggo. They question God, why do these things happen to them? Ang madal sinasabi nila, Naglilingkod naman kami sa simbahan, pero bakit nangyayari ito sa amin? Bakit sa gitna ng dedikasyon ng buong pamilya sa paglilingkod sa simbahan, nagdaranas nila ng ganito kahirap na pagsubok? 
My dear friends, there is in a way a downside, if I may call it downside, in following, following the Lord wholeheartedly. As Jesus said in our gospel today, one must always be ready to endure the pain of carrying one's cross as part of following the Lord, part of discipleship. Why do bad things happen to good people like Marie and her family? I'm sure marami pa pong ganitong kwento, parehong kwento na mga pamilyang naglilingkod sa simbahan pero nagdaranas din ng samot sa ring, bigat ng pagsubok sa buhay. Why do bad things happen to them? This is the question we often ask but we find no answer. This is one great mystery of life and even Jesus was not spared of this reality. I think, strictly speaking, it does not require any answer at all. Rather, it should evoke more faith and hope in us. But for the sake of argument, one plain answer for this is that bad things do not make good people bad. Hindi po automatic na nagiging masamang isang tao kapag may masamang nangyari sa kanya o sa kanyang pamilya. Good people remain to be good not because of what happened to them. Rather, good people remain to be good because they choose to be good despite the bad experience. Kahit may masama tayong karanasan sa buhay, yung kabutihan ng isang tao ay nakadepende pa rin po sa pagpili niya sa kabutihan at pag-iwas sa masama. Kahit meron tayong krus na pinapasan, nagiging magaan ito kung pipiliin nating yakapin ang krus na ito ng may pagmamahal. Katulad ng pagyakap ni Jesus sa kanyang krus hanggang sa kamatayan. At magagawa lang natin ito kung tayo po ay may positibong pananaw. Kung tayo ay lubos na kababad sa pagmamahal ng Diyos. Sabi ko nga isang araw, hindi po araw-araw ay Pasko. Meron ding Biyernes Santong mga bahagi ng ating buhay. And we need to learn from moments of consolation. Kasi ito po yung panguhugutan natin ng lakas. Pag dumating na po yung mga pagsubok sa ating buhay. As we continue with this Mass, we pray that we may draw closer our hearts to the heart of Jesus, to His sacred heart. Different cross will come our way and Jesus reminds us to carry that cross with love and fidelity. We need to be firm in our faith so that we can never lose our connection with God. As to why bad things happen to good people, this will remain a mystery and it doesn't require any answer. It only suggests a deeper faith, a deeper hope from our end. Sabi nga natin, parating may awa ang Diyos. Amen. By self-denial, we take up the cross each day, walking in the footsteps of our Master. Let us pray for others and so cast off the selfishness which keeps us apart from God. Let our response be, Almighty Father, empower us. Almighty Father, empower us. That our Pope and bishops may carry the cross of pastoral care and responsibility with selfless sacrifice. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty Father, empower us. That those who accepted the burden of public office 
may grow in the love of God through their responsible, sincere, and honest exercise of their duties. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty Father, empower us that we may give wholehearted support in upholding the truth and in opposing the subtle influences of evil. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty Father, empower us that those who are victims of oppression may finally gain justice, freedom, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty Father, empower us that our brothers and sisters from the different Pamayanans of Barangay Loyola Heights, now affected with COVID-19, may trust in the Lord and have courage to face their trials in the light of faith. May our Blessed Mother, Our Lady of Pentecost, cover them with her mantle of protection. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty Father, empower us. For all frontliners in the field of medicine and health care, and everyone working hard to get things in control, that they may find comfort in the Lord and be granted the courage to continue their selfless service for those who are sick, and that the Lord may bless them for their heroic deeds to our people in this difficult time. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty Father, empower us that those who suffered and died in faith may gain their heavenly reward. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty Father, empower us. In silence, we now pray for our personal intentions and all the intentions posted on our Facebook page. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, receive the prayers of a pilgrim people seeking to discover your will by walking in the footsteps of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. and may sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look, O Lord, we pray on the surpassing charity in the heart of your beloved Son that what we offer may be a gift acceptable to you and an expiation of our offenses. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up Let to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high in the cross, He gave Himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his pierced side, the wellspring of the church's sacraments, so that one over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, to celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world. And bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Onesto our Bishop and other clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us so we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Full of trust and confidence when we pray in the words, Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, forgive and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you. May peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. May now offer to one another the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you.
Lamb of God, Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Okay. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Prayer for Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament, I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Because 
Let us pray. May the sacrament of charity, O Lord, make us fervent with the fire of holy love, so that drawn always to your Son, we may learn to see him in our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calunsod. Pray for us. We now say the Novena Prayer to the Sacred Heart. Divine Jesus, you have said, Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened to you. Behold me kneeling at your feet. Filled with a lively faith and confidence in the promises dictated by your sacred heart and pronounced by your adorable lips, I come to ask these favors. To whom can I turn if not to you, whose heart is the source of all graces and merits? Where should I seek, if not in the treasure, which contains all the riches of your kindness and mercy? Where must I knock, if not at the door through which God gives himself to us, and through which we go to God? I have recourse to you, heart of Jesus. In you I find consolation when afflicted, protection when persecuted, strength when burdened with trials, and light in doubt and darkness. Dear Jesus, I firmly believe that you can grant me the grace I implore, even though it should require a miracle. You have only to will it, and my prayer will be granted. I admit that I am most unworthy of your favors. But this is not a reason for me to be discouraged. You are the God of mercy, and you will not refuse a contrite heart. Cast upon me a look of mercy, I beg of you, and your kind heart will find in my miseries and weakness a reason for granting my prayer. O sacred heart, whatever may be your decision, with regard to my request, I will never stop adoring, loving, praising, and serving you. My Jesus, be pleased to accept this my act of perfect resignation to the decrees of your adorable heart, which I sincerely desire may be fulfilled in and by me and by all your creatures forever. Sacred heart of Jesus, I know that there is but one thing impossible to you, to be without pity for those who are suffering or in distress. Look upon me, I beg of you, dear Jesus, 
and grant me the grace for which I humbly implore you through the immaculate heart of your most sorrowful mother you have entrusted me to her as her child and her prayers are all powerful with you amen the lord be with you and with your spirit and may almighty god bless you and your family the father the son and of the holy spirit amen go forth the mass is ended thanks be to thanks god thanks be to god <laughs>